Hi everyone, do you know the classic button like and dislike in YouTube? Well, I'm going to show you how you can integrate it in Microsoft or SharePoint list. Thanks to a user, Mikael Mendes, that contributes a lot in the community, we have now this sample to reuse. In the past, I made a video how you can create a video library view in Microsoft or SharePoint list. Check the link in the description or in the upper right corner if you want to rewatch this video. Now, to this view, I'm going to implement the like and dislike button. Okay, let's get started. Here I am on my PC and I have this SharePoint document library in the browser open. In the past, I already applied a video library view using Microsoft list formatting in this document library. As you can see, it's very nice and gorgeous. Moreover, I added the like and dislike button, making richer this view. Now, if I scroll at the bottom, we can see that I already added a like here. I can do the same with another one and we can see that now the value change, I have selected one, I am the person that has pushed the button and we have this over effect that give me immediately the idea that I already pressed the like button. Of course, I can click on this like button and the value change here, we have one now and zero on this other like button. Let me like again, so the, in this way the creator of this video is happy. Now let's try to interact with other user. I have here another instance of the browser open and here I am acting as Adele Events. I am on the same document library and I have already in real time the value here available. I can add my like and here as well, let me like this other one. So the, as you can see now the value, we have two here, two here and one. So the value is changed and every interaction is saved in the document library. I show you later. Now let's try with an additional user. We have Miriam Graham. Let me refresh this page. So we have the value, all value updated and here we go. We have one, two and two. I can add a dislike button here, for example, or like this other one. That's it from my end user perspective. Now let me show you how you can implement these two buttons. I am now on GitHub. This is the sample shared by Mikel Mendes. Here you can see an animated GIF that give you and look and feel how this like and dislike button works. This sample makes use of the action set value, remove from and append to in order to add the value to the column when the user click on the specific button. Below we can see the view requirements. It's mandatory create two columns, two person multi-selection columns. The internal name must be like and dislike. And then it's up to you if you want to make these two columns mandatory or not. Here we have the two examples. Let me open this one. This is the like JSON. Let me open the page here and it's pretty short a sample. As you can see here, we have a button and here we have an action. When the, when the user click on the like button, basically the user apply, add this value to the existing column like or remove this value from the, from the column. And here, when the user click on dislike, we have remove from the email and remove the current user from the column dislike. Here we have some CSS style. We have the transparent background color, border known, cursor pointer. We have the title. I like this. So you have a tooltip when you go over the icon. And here we have the icon. The icon is like solid when the user has clicked already on the button like or we have the simple like button. This icon comes from the Fluent UI library available in Microsoft 365. You have just to type the name of the icon and this shows up automatically. Lastly, we have the text field here that display the count, the number of likes on this, on this specific item. That's it. This is how it works the like button and uh, we have the same, basically the same logic for the dislike button. It's changed just the name of the field. So now what to do? I have here another list, another document library, another example, and I want to now to reproduce these two button. 
All I need to do here is just create and add a new column. This would be a person or group column and this will be like column. If I click on the button more options, I will make this as multi selections field. Let me click now on the save button. This column will be added. I'll do the same with the second one, person, dislike. I'm going to drop more options down and then allow multiple selections. Click on save, all done. Now this specific example is applied to the specific column. So I need just to copy this sample and then I'm going to apply this like JSON to this one. Format this column. Here we go. I already applied this. Now I can check the preview by clicking on the preview button and I should see already the button shows up. Let me click on save, cancel in order to close the panel. Now let me format the dislike button, format this column. Let me copy this other JSON that I have here. It's very incredible how you can easily reuse stuff in Microsoft and SharePoint lists with the Microsoft and lists formatting. Here I can click again on the button preview and I have the preview of my dislike button. I can save and that's it. I already finished it. So now if I click here on this button, I can see the effect hover of the icon and then I can see the one because I click it on this button. That's it. It's very fast and easy to implement this like and dislike button. But what I have done here is in this more complex video library view, I had just these uh, two buttons, but I embedded these two buttons in a, in a div. I'll show you, let me show you how it looks like. Let me go on format current view. I'm going to show you this specific part. Let me go down and here we go. This is the button. Next to the video description, I added a div and I added some styles here to have this kind of format. And here I added the button of like and then below of the dislike button. So that's it. This is how you can implement in an existing view list formatting these two buttons. I also updated the sample that you can find on my GitHub of this video library with these two button like and dislike. So it's all implemented. You have just to copy and paste it and reproduce the structure of this library. When you use this library, make sure that you have available these two columns. Otherwise, the button like and dislike will not work. So you have to check by going here on this drop down and then edit current view. When you create the like and dislike button, you have to make sure that these two columns are then available by checking the display checkbox next to the name. In this way, you are sure that these two columns are rendered and the view list formatting can apply the right format to the columns. That's it. Last thing that I would like to show you is the list without any kind of formatting. Let me go here in the drop down all documents and let me select this view that I created, call it flat. And here we have the list view without any formatting. In the like and dislike column, we can see that Giuliano, Adele and Miriam have clicked on the like button. The same here below we have Giuliano and Adele, Miriam has clicked on the button dislike. This is how it looks like this, these two columns like and dislike without formatting. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider to subscribe, like, comment, stay tuned for the next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.